Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for Tower of God, episodes 12 and 13. We're going to be wrapping up season one today in preparation for season two coming this uh, com this coming Sunday, actually. I'm not sure what day this video is going to be dropped, but this coming Sunday is supposedly the day that Tower of God season two starts. And I am, um, I'm, I'm very excited, to say the least. I've been seriously enjoying season one of this show. It's been so much fun. Uh, a lot of twists and turns with betrayals and a bunch of other stuff like that. And uh, now we're going to wrap up the underwater hunt game here in today's uh, next two episodes. I don't know if we're going uh, don't, to, I don't know if it's going to be wrapped up in this one or the next one. We're going to find out uh, at the end of the day, though. But yeah, I'm super excited to see how this plays out. Anak was getting hunted last episode, which was, um not fun <laughs> um and now uh the guy i believe his name was ren has been is giving indrosi an option to kill anak to re reclaim her glory and help her help her help her father uh so we'll see what she ends up doing in that regard hopefully she is going to show up and maybe help them uh then obviously um uh we've got uh hots uh working out there trying to take down the goblins and pigs hots rack and the other guys uh, two of the other people who were with Shibisu, or no, who were with Hots disappeared. A lot of stuff going on, and this game has obviously been rigged from the start to get rid of Anak. So we will see where this goes as Bam and Rachel are just kind of stuck uh, in the middle of the ocean as they get uh, tucked in by this uh, giant, um, what do they call it? Squid thing? I forget what the creature's called, but that, at the end of the day, that is what's going on here. So we will have to see how this fin how these last two episodes play out. But per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of our reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now without further ado, let's hop straight into Tower of God, episode 12. Yep, they're getting pulled up by the net here. While Anak and Indrosi are gonna have to do something. Uh, Haas is figuring out his situation. Kuhn's trying to navigate everything. A lot of shit going on here. The hell? Like she's a divine sea fish. What? Uh, this dude better cream his pants. Uh, I mean, Indrosi, I mean, that she might turn it on its head and save Anak, but she really has no choice here. I'm not going to blame her if she doesn't do that. Like, her entire life was spent trying to become a princess of Jihad. She can't lose it now. Whoa. Woo! Hello, Yuri! <laughs> I knew she was going to the game, but I didn't expect her to appear now of all times. Yes! Oh, she's using Shinsu to heal her wound. Rachel's hand's going off too. Whoa, what the fuck? Power welling up inside me. Yeah, they're inside a ball of Shinsu. Yuri's gonna show up, right? She's not gonna do it. She's not. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the Black March. Oh, and she gave her that one. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> What is going on with them? Yeah, he's got to fight. Yuri's going to show up, though. Yuri's going to show up and want her sword back. Yeah, this is, is making me so nervous. Oh, hello. Dogist has showed up. I'm currently dog sitting because my family's out of town. They so they need me to dog sit. Hello, come here. Oh, she's not going to show her face. You can't see it. <laughs> All right. You're free to roam. Ooh, there you go, tripped up his legs. Uh, oh my god! Body slammed the hell out of him. Yeah, they're having to run away from all the goblins too. My god, there's so many more. Drive safer! That is a crazy thing to say to the person who's keeping you alive. Ooh! Rack's gonna fight all of them? <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is so goofy. <laughs> this dude deserves this anyway, so I'm not upset. He deserves to get tossed around like that. And he jumped right in the middle of all of them. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's over, Rice Boy. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck, he's way stronger than we thought he was. Oh, shit. Reason against me, and I was forced to deal with her. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, he is digging right into that wound on her chest. Yuri? Yep, Yuri's here, totally. <laughs> Let's keep... What? That's a lot of rocks! <laughs> the coldest entrance are my little sisters. <laughs> she was you walking like he's her servant or something. Yeah, but they kind of took it from him. I'll retrieve them. She, she is, Yuri is definitely in higher standing than him. They said Yuri is like the strongest fisherman out of any of the princesses and one of the strongest people. I remember what they said ever, but I know they said out of the current princesses, she is like the strongest fisherman. So she is most likely in higher standing than this guy is. Rack putting in work. <laughs> <laughs> His head just grew ten times. My god, they are climbing up this worm. Rack is definitely strong enough to handle these guys, 100%. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's loud it brought them all up. Okay. Defended an imposter. <laughs> oh, I already love her. I love her so much already. We, we've only seen her in little bits throughout, and we saw her in episode one. Her attitude in episode one was totally different. Oh, I love this. I love this attitude here. I love it. <laughs> it makes me shiver. This dude. Yeah, this dude was like creaming himself. Those didn't affect her, did they? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Whoa, Rachel's shaking. What the fuck? That's so cool. <laughs> She's so sick. I love her so much. That was so sick. Just so you know, I'm doing this in self-defense. Like exactly what he said to Indorosi. He didn't die from that somehow. Oh, he dodged it. Yeah, stupidly strong. Wait, what? Uh, they're all fighting each other. Yeah, this is Kun's strategy, evidently enough. <laughs> Laude hugging his sleeping bag. The Ned Dolphins used to reach the water. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, you collapse every specific pathway, and then they have nowhere to go but to end up right where the goblins are. Oh, God. Where, what are you going to do, Kun? You look like Kun's sibling. What are you doing here? What on earth? What is happening this episode? What is happening? This game is insane. Louder. <laughs> He's gonna take a nap. Yep. 
Nap time for Laude. Oh, it was the guy who was with Yuri. It was the guy who was with Yuri. It just clicked in my head as soon as I saw the game thing. It's the guy who was with Yuri. There's no way you can beat me. Yeah. And that intruder being Yuri. He just shut off all their cameras. They're being conducted by the administrator. Where are they getting all these spears? Oh my god. We can't interfere. Oh, he's going to make more coffee. Okay. Princess Mario's step stool is crazy. Yep, it is his brother. Maria? Fun to upset the Kuhn family. I'm an outcast too. This dude stands literally no- Oh my god! Holy fuck, she's insane. She's stupidly strong. This is insane. <laughs> to let her play alone! Oh, hello. No, she... What? Evan Kill? What the f Otherwise, you couldn't have conducted the test like this? What, what is happening? What the fuck is going on? Uh, Jihad's assassins has entered the testing area. This dude stands literally no chance. I won't let anyone find out about this. For the Jihad family to pick up its own trash. Seems to be the case. It's fine if you kill him. You mustn't help Anak's daughter. So, as long as she, she can kill him, and it won't matter because he's fighting her when she's trying to take her sword back. Uh, that That's fine, but if he goes to help Anak's daughter, that's when she becomes a, a criminal per se. Criminal's probably the wrong word, but a traitor. <laughs> then I'm a traitor. Damn. <laughs> she be sued as well. <laughs> She's in it in her, her. Oh, well, bye bye. Oh my god. I say she sent it in her lackey to deal with him. For someone too scared to pull a knife on me. Hello, Hots! Seems like you have pretty decent allies. Did Lowry teleport Hots over there? He did. Yeah, he did. Or he didn't teleport him, he brought him over there on the Shinsu. Now he can take a nap. Interesting. That is not the interaction, the ending to that interaction I expected. He just told him straight up good luck. That is definitely not the interaction I was expecting, to be honest. But, I mean, like he said himself, he's also an outcast of the Kuhn family. I wonder why. There's definitely more to him. Mr. Warrior's Code. How would I face him, Bam? How would you face Bam? We're about to be eaten. What's going on with these two? We haven't been with them in a minute. Holy fuck, dude. That's crazy. For that boy, yep. Too bad? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, he sent the bull after him. What is with- Why is Rachel not showing her face? Why is she not showing her face? Why- Also, why is there a cutoff to that subtitle? Man, that bull is coming straight for y'all, dude. Oh my god. It's a waste of his talents. So yeah, their goal was also here to kill the Irregular, to kill Bam. But it's not just the Irregular, it's two Irregulars in there. Okay, he's officially dead. Oh my god! I'll crush this test! Oh 
Damn, okay, Anaka. He has to make it here himself. Oh, God. No! Uh, I sure hope, man. Dear God. The hell? <laughs> Bro. Where'd he go? Is he in its mouth? He's doing exactly what he did in the first episode. Whoa! Holy shit! And he fell right back into the circle. Good shit, man. You fucking did it. Oh my god. Yep, you're about to be eaten here. Wow, that was insane. Holy shit. That was crazy. Well, it's just like they said. Uh, I, I, something feels off. I just feel bad. I just feel bad. I don't, oh my god. Come and get it once you know how to use it properly. Give this to him. Tell him to go to the 77th floor. What's up with her? A navigator? Like him? Wait, what? She's trying to climb the tower? I, I, I just uh, I just I, I don't like this. I don't like it. It just feels like so, they're building the music. Everything's happening. They're about to get eaten. I just I don't know. I still don't fully trust Rachel, but if we can get through this, then maybe I will regain some trust in her. But I I I don't know. What did I just say? I, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it here. I hate it here so much. I literally just said, I literally just said that if we got through this, I would trust her. Never trust a bitch. I, I mean, I've been suspicious of her this entire time. And I, so, like, I have felt awful about this game the entire time. Like, there's been this awful feeling building inside. Like, I just, the way the music was building, everything everybody was talking about, I just could not get it out of my head something bad was going to happen, and it just so happened it was this bullshit. Fuck out of here. Wow. Wow. Everybody, did everybody sense it? Uh, and we're just showing everybody else. Everything else went successfully, except for Rachel just fucking pushed him off. What the fuck? And, and he probably saw this coming. He 100% saw this coming. I just, uh, why? Also, she stood up. She can walk. She, she stood up just fine. It, if you ask me, it looked like she could walk just fine. I just, I need to know why. Why, 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 why? What? Oh my God. I, I, let's go to the next episode. I'm just mad. I, I, I'm literally just mad. I don't get it. Why? Why, 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 why? Does she hate him that fucking much? No OP today, for today, for this episode either. I, I just, I... Uh.
That's what I'm gonna be asking until I get the answer probably some somewhere down the line. Why? Why the fuck would you do that? I just need to know why. Were all those tears in the earlier episode where I was like, that doesn't feel like acting. Were those all fucking crocodile tears? Was she just crying to fucking cry and then manipulate him? I don't know. Now, now I gotta think every action she has taken since Bam and her reunited. What was real and what was fake? Why did she do this? I just don't get it. I, I'm just, oh my god. I'm just fucking mad. How do you feel about yourself? You feel good? Finally? Finally over. No. It's just beginning. Hedon's watching. This is when she was running from him. It's calling me. It's going all the way back to the beginning of the first episode. So we're going to see what happened to her now. Okay, interesting. The, the peak of my life? Okay, why did her voice sound so excited there? Hmm. It was calling for Bam and not her? Is she going through the same test Bam went through? Yeah. Hurled despair toward me. No, watch as your savior is born? What? You're joking. Rachel was here watching this the entire time? What the fuck? This is too much to bear. She's ho! She is li- Oh my god. I in both ways, she is ho. Oh my god. She- She literally is jealous of him. For the exact same reason. Like, why does he get everything, even though he's had nothing taken from him, all the above? Like, she's turning into Ho, that jealousy took over. Why does Bam get everything? He's just Bam. And then did he make her reappear? Not that you'll be there to see it. Why you weren't- Cause you're a piece of shit? That's why you weren't chosen, fuck ass. That was hard- Yeah. Okay, so she didn't have any powers. But her hand was glowing inside of the thing. Her hand was literally glowing yellow just like Bam. That was hardly any Shinsu. So the little thing he trapped her in was enough to like suffocate her. Which Bam just walked into as they stayed at level 30 to 40 like condensation. That, that's once again not the word density. That's the word I was looking for. Like level 30 to 40 density levels of Shinsu and Bam was totally fine. What the tower chose him. It's just like Lara Rose's speech about luck and how much luck is huge. Bam is lucky. The tower chose him. That's just the way things fucking work. I remember his speech was a lot more deeper than that, and it was a really good speech. Actually, I believe someone commented, or we talked about it in the Discord, how much deeper his speech actually was in the manhwa. The ugliness sleeping out from inside you makes me cringe. That's crazy to get shit on that much. I have a shred of charm about you. It, it really is all for the stars? All of this? All of this is for the stars? I just, I still cannot believe that if we go back to um to when she was crying and she had that like smile when she was crying, where she was telling Bam that she can that he can abandon her too. I have to wonder if that smile was her realizing that she could take advantage of his kindness and be like, you can abandon me too, knowing he would never do that. So then she could take advantage of that and have her bring er, and have him bring her further up until she could get rid of him. Is that what that was? Is that really what that was? You want to become a star. Oh, you want to shine the brightest to be special? Uh... Jesus Christ, man. You're this fucking desperate? I just... It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. You wanna... 
I mean, I know Hidon hey, picked it apart as you want to be the star, you want to be special, but like, uh, uh, all of this? The logic does not- she even faked being paralyzed. This- it doesn't compute with my fucking brain. It doesn't compute, I don't get it. For your bottomless stupidity. I- Hedon gave her the goal to kill him? You must end Bam's story with your own hands. So she has truly been plotting on killing him this entire time. Wow, wow. You abandon him, yeah. If you want the star so fucking badly. I don't dislike your shallow thinking. That, yep, I knew it. He is literally like her fucking, what, what is it? Uh, uh, like a stand from Jojo. She just spawns him in and he fights for her while she just sits back and watches. He is your bodyguard. Just once you will be resurrected. Yeah, we're going right back to here when she said it's okay to kill all of them. Like, it's been there from the start. That's crazy. I can't believe I disregarded that fucking statement. I cannot believe I disregarded that statement to give her even an inkling of trust. I can't believe I let that statement fly. I cannot believe it. I actually cannot believe I let that statement fly. What the fuck? She wish someone else would kill him. Yeah, because she wanted to kill you. Oh, I could never kill Bam. Worthy of what? Wait, what we desire? What the fuck is happening? What is happening? So this girl never meant to climb in the first place. She was just there to observe shit going on, and that's why she told Kun that she wasn't planning on going any further. Because she never had any, any intention to do so. Is worthy of what we desire. I could never... I... After all that, she's still saying I could never kill him, even though she finally did it, and she like fell down in the chair and was like huffing and puffing like, I finally killed him, which he's obviously not dead. Like, obviously. We, we know he's not gonna die from that. We saw back here when the girl, when this girl right here almost like kill, or like when Bam was going up to kill her, um, or was it before that? Yeah, it was before that when the Shinsu protected him, because as you guys said, the translation fucked up. The translation is, was actually supposed to be that the Shinsu protected Bam and wouldn't let him get attacked by her. There's no way that it would let him die. No way after it protected him back then. Dude, I have so many fucking questions, oh my god. I'm just gonna shut up and let this play out. My thoughts are very mixed on Rachel. We're gonna continue getting her side of the story. She is the bait. Yep, when, when they went and straight attacked Rachel. This isn't what I was told. Oh yeah, and he didn't fight for her. So even her bodyguard was in on it? What the fuck? So I guess he just made it. I have to kill Bam. Can't let him look at me anymore. What, because it would just keep making it more and more difficult for you to fucking kill him? Oh my, that's why she was sitting in her room every day. She was looking for an opportunity to kill him, but Bam was essentially constantly surrounded by the people he trusted the most, his friends. That's what I intended, but she can never, she can never bring herself to actually do it. I was terrified of spending points. Keeps getting everything I want. Is worth more. Yeah, then Endrosi said this to her. So she planted the letter. She planted the letter on Ho. I can't, can I? Oh shit! With the disturbance that's about to occur. Create a situation that will... To choose, you'll understand. As long as you don't misread the signs. I'll 
I'm sure a certain Rachel resonated with what Ho was saying. But she actually tried to push him off, which is interesting. I guess, wait, did she get herself stabbed on purpose? No way she got herself stabbed on purpose. Did I make the choice? It didn't hurt at all. Oh my god, it makes sense. It makes sense. He said that she would be resurrected once. Any, I guess, death that she would take, her bodyguard would take for her, and that's why he disappeared. He died. The bodyguard died. He took that kill for her. She should have died here, but the bodyguard... This is fucking wild. Is this right? Getting a situation in the Yeah, and then she faked being paralyzed so she could stay near him. Is this what that meant? Einhearted Bam. It was amusing how much everything went according to plan. As long as I did what she said. It was that simple. So, it, was this real tears here? Like, did she have a moment of faltering where she couldn't do it? Is that what happened here? I already made my decision. Yep, she literally wanted him to get away. Man! This has got to be... This is crazy. I, I don't even know what to think. She's a fucking horrible piece of shit. But I, I just like... Oh my god. A show has never made me have this much mixed feelings for a character ever. I am always... And I mean always... I try to see the good side in characters of shows that I watch. I always try to. I never want to like directly hate a character because usually, usually the stuff that I watch is well enough written that there's other sides to them or there's something going on that makes them do what they do. Unless you know you're JJK, but that's a different story. I just, I, I try to see the good side in the people, but I'm struggling here. I get that she's having second thoughts, but everything, and I mean everything they are showing us is like, I, I can't. I literally cannot. I, like, do not give a shit. Like, I actually don't, like, like, I, but at the same time, I want to. I want to, like, I want to try and see the good side of this, but she's just awful. She's actually just awful. Oh, my God. Run. Yep, and it comes right to this. This was real. This was real. Otherwise, I really will kill you. Otherwise, I really will kill you. She knew that if he did not abandon her here, she wasn't trying to manipulate him. I, I was wrong in what I said earlier. She was not trying to manipulate him here. She genuinely wanted him to get the fuck away because she knew that if he went along with her, she would kill him. That's insane. That is fucking crazy. She just knew how much of a piece of shit she was. She knew that if she kept going down this path, there was no going back. And she would actually try to kill him. Wow. Fucking insane. That's why she started crying so much harder. That scene makes so much more sense now. And that's why she apologized too. Because she knew she was going to try and kill him. That is... Holy fuck. Oh my god. I- Jesus. I'm actually shell-shocked. I don't even know what to say. I'm not a light. I'm too black and muddy. Your words touched nothing in me. My feelings for the tower can't be suppressed. But my heart wavers. They won't overlook this wavering in my heart. Yep. Because this- this to them to the test administrators, to him and the red-haired girl. Th like, this this entire thing is a test for Bam. That's all this is. This is a test for Bam from them. They're using Rachel as bait to test him. Yep. They knew she was wavering. This is your last chance. Your last chance to kill him. You're a very lucky person. Crazy. Cr oh my god. And she put on that fake ass face that entire time. Oh my god, this is crazy.
<laughs> this is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe there's a way for me to. She started thinking that? Uh, oh. She was actually beginning to think that maybe she could climb the tower with him. Then they got attacked and she betrayed him. Wait, but they got. Uh, it's like. It's like she genuinely started to believe. Uh, we're obviously going to get the explanation for why she did it here in a second. But it's like she genuinely started to believe that she could climb the tower with him. Then they got attacked and he showed off that gold Shinsu power again and she got jealous again. And then when they were finally about to reach the top, she pushed him off. You look at me so intently. You're the only one who treats me like I'm special. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what Hedon said. She wanted to be treated like a star. Bam will do that for you. But she still fucking pushed him off. And that this vision makes so much more sense now. Oh my god, it makes so much more sense. Holy shit, so many things we saw make so much more sense. She saw Bam as the star and was jealous of him. And saw him, like this whole vision here that plays out. He walks away with all his friends. She saw this vision and it just made her more jealous because she sees Bam as the star. Do you want to shine brightest to be special? First thing that came to mind was your face. What, that Bam is the star? But was averting my gaze. Yeah, but that's why from then on she was just like looking down and not like being kind of quiet. It was Bam who became a star, not me. She doesn't feel anything. Wow, only Bam- But wait, Bam saw the light in her too. That's interesting. She couldn't see the light, but Bam could see it in her hand as well. What? Oh, her eyes are twitching. Bam has so many things I don't have. I'll never- Oh my god. Bam is the one who's special. And that's why she was shaking. If I stay with you, I can't. Oh my god, the cut to that face is fucking crazy. Whoa. It's like she was gaining hope there for a second and it all just came crashing down. Like this, the smile she's, she has here feels, felt genuine for a second. Like that smile feels almost genuine, but then it was like, wait, but if I go up with you, I become a side character. I don't get to be the star. Basically, she's a whole ass attention whore. That's, that's literally what she is. Like she wants the attention so fucking badly that she is willing to kill the person who would give the world to her. That is insane. That is actually fucking insane. If I stay with you, I... Just the hard cut. God, that's so good. I gotta say, this episode is so fucking good. Oh, this might be my favorite episode of the entire series so far. This is so fucking good. Oh my god. I can't climb it with you. Strong, kind, and beloved Bam. Crazy. Fucking crazy. And she got spit out. <laughs> Bam's obviously not dead. He's obviously not dead. W where is season two gonna pick up? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy! He must have been eaten by a fish. <laughs> yeah, you have the gall to ask that right now. 
いいからもう黙っとけ試験は終了皆さんは合格です今後のことは追って連絡します<笑> Oh my god Damn even Rack is fucking screaming Does Lero Row know some bullshit's going on? He 100% knows some bullshit's going on. Oh, he's standing over him. All of it. All of it. Everything. Every last thing. Yep, she walking just fine. She got out of bed and walked just fine over to that thing. Unless she's just able to, yep. I mean, it makes perfect sense. She literally, I mean, <laughs> The, the, her, her bodyguard took the hit for her, so she's not wounded at all. Favors must be returned. <laughs> Fuck, and they're all gonna believe that- Oh my- uh! <laughs> That constrain us and make us suffer. <laughs> insane! Insane! This is fucking insane! Oh my god. <laughs> With Rachel. Your evil laugh, you fucking bitch. That, that's crazy. She went from crying to immediate, like, almost immediate. I, like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh my god, this is insane. What? <laughs> In search of the truth. What? This man is mad. He's fucking pissed. Everything has gone according to plan. And he's not. He's totally fine. Crazy. Crazy. Stars can shine anywhere. I actually cannot believe that they set up everything. I cannot believe it. And now they're gonna climb with Rachel, not knowing that she killed him. She killed him. Oh, season two is gonna be so good. Season two is gonna be so fucking good. Season two is going to be so fucking good. I wonder if Bear. I wonder if Kuhn is suspicious. I hope you can be proud of the path you've walked. Oh, that, that's okay. I think that was the director talking. I feel like Kuhn, there's no way Kuhn isn't suspicious of her. There's no way. He has faced betrayal before. He knows what it feels like. If there's anybody who would be suspicious of her, it would be Kuhn. Hope you feel that the hand that grasps, grasps what you desire is beautiful. No, you don't. If you knew you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Talk your shit, Kun. Talk your fucking shit, baby. Yeah. It's like Kun knows, but he's resolved himself to just travel up the tower with these people because causing a ruckus would do nothing good. I don't know. I need to see his thoughts because that was a clear attack on Rachel. Clear attack on her. Yo, yo, she's back. The lady from the Black March. Oh my God. Oh, crazy, crazy. Yeah, if even if you were night, things will never be exactly as they were. When you meet her again, she will have lived for some time without you. You're alive, buddy. Fucking crazy OST, yeah. And it's just, if we think about it, as much as Rachel is a horrible piece of shit, she was also very heavily manipulated by all the people around her. By all the directors and whatever it may be, she was very heavily manipulated by them as well. I'm not going to dismiss what she did. She is a complete and utter attention-seeking piece of shit. Let's, let's get that out of the way. I'm not going to dismiss anything that she did. But at the same time, she, among with everyone else, was horribly manipulated by the directors who clearly want to use Bam. Clearly. After what she did to you. Everyone wants desperately. Even the savior can become the god of this tower. You have the key to know and no. Jesus. 
Why? If you want to know why, climb and find her. Taro drove you and her mad. <laughs> this felt like a giant prologue. This seriously felt like a giant prologue. Oh my god. Feels like we're finally starting Tower of God. I'll find them. I'll decide them. Hmm. To the Tower of God. <laughs> Crazy. That's so good. That's so good. So fucking good. Oh, I'm the, yep, this is the speech from the very beginning, the first episode, and all of it can be yours. You can become a god. Yeah, I always thought that line was so fucking suspicious. This is the story of Rachel, the girl who climbed the tower and bam, the boy who needed nothing but her. Their end and their beginning. <laughs> Was that BAM? <laughs> fucking crazy. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so fucking good. Whoa. I'm like, I'm actually in shock. That was so good. That really was the prologue. That really was just a prologue. So good. That was so good. In every regard, that was so good. I could literally not be more hyped for season two. I could not be more hyped for season two. That was so good. It, that was so fucking good in every regard. That's crazy. Oh my God. I don't think I have much to say. I talked so much extensively throughout the video. I don't think I have much else to say, honestly. Um, you guys know my thoughts on Rachel. Uh, I, I think I said it pretty clearly there a few a few times throughout the episode, but I mean, I'll restate it one more time. Um, it's like she is the biggest attention seeking bitch of all time, but she was also horribly manipulated by everyone in the tower and the promise of what the tower can hold. I like I'm not going to dismiss anything she did. As I said, she is a piece of fucking shit, but man, what a good character. What a good fucking character. I could never get a good read on her and finding out all her thoughts makes everything make so much more sense. So good. So good, seriously. Like that, she is a phenomenal character. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal character. And this show is so good. So fucking good. Like I said, that was a prologue. Also, can we just, just real quick, look at how much bigger this dude is. Look at how much bigger he is. How long has it been? How, when, when are we gonna t get to see our gang again? Coon, Rack, and whatever it may be. When are we gonna get to see them again? I don't know. I don't know. But their reunion, hopefully next season, is going to be fucking peak. Honestly, I don't even know if it's gonna happen next season. I have no idea if Bam is gonna run into them again. I don't know what direction this story is about to take. But holy shit. Oh yeah, also that charm. They never got to give Bam that charm. She said something about go to the 77th floor and he never got to get that charm from them. There's something about that too. Oh my God. I cannot wait to see the fucking look on Rachel's face when she sees he's still alive. I cannot wait to see the shit eating face she's gonna have. So good. This season was phenomenal. I am beyond hype for season two, but I think that is gonna wrap it up my reaction to Tower of God season one. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.